So one of the topics that um, I'm going to cover is something that I don't think a lot of people really understand what it's doing. Um, that's because it's sort of a, a, a mysterious way in how uh, Qt uses this until you do a little more research, but that's Qt Palette. Um, Qt Palette, essentially what it is, is one of the ways that you can change some of the stylings in um, Qt. But what's happening is Every, like let's say everything in here, like the way the buttons are rounded, the way the highlight pops up, all this sort of stuff, that's Maya's style. Um, that's how they've decided to style this UI. But what they're doing internally is they have a, a color palette called Q Palette that's determining all these different uh, color options. So you have an active, inactive, and disabled state for, for your UIs. Um, so like what determines like uh, how the UI, all the different colors that are used in different scenarios. Um, and you can change the palette, um, and then your UI will still pick up the same style, so it'll still be drawn the same. It'll just use colors that you're defining. So up here, I just have like a just a little changer. You can always refer it back to the the default palette, which is this sort of grays and whatnot. Um, and the see this highlight color is actually the highlight that they use and down here. But if you just change this to let's say let's go with like a uh, sort of a, let me a little bit more, like a brown, yeah, it's sort of a cool color. If we change this, and the way Q Palette's written, if you hand it a default uh, color, which I'm just handing it, this is the actual color that I'm handing it, um, uh, if you hand it any color, um, it'll build its own palette around that. Okay, so all these colors are being generated by um, the Q Palette itself. Um, and but I've built it to where you can go in and change anything. So for example, that highlight down there, if we want to change that, let's make it a bright red. So now this highlight's a different color. Um, and if we go over our push button, that highlight is being a different color as well. Okay, because it's just it's still using the same drawing, um, so it's still using the same sort of painter, but it's just sort of changing how the highlight works. Now if we switch to the way I, the way I've written out this code is. Um, these three things, active, inactive, disabled, this is what all your co your actual palette is, but down here I've hacked it to where active, inactive, and disabled are all getting overwritten to be one of these choices, so that if I change it to inactive, it forces it to look like whatever that inactive state is. It's a little bit complicated, and I'll get more into that in the actual class, but essentially that's just an easy way of hacking around it to where you can still use everything. Because like, and normally if this was disabled, you wouldn't be able to use this stuff. But I'm just making, I'm just taking that disabled part of the palette and forcing it in um, to this one. So like I said, if we go back to our active and we look, this is our highlight, but let's go, let's mess around with our buttons. Let's say we want those to be, let me pick that color blue. Um, so that is where they are in our active state. In our interactive state, they're still back to that because if you look, that's what our inactive color is. So with that one, I'm gonna make a lighter blue. Why not? So if it's active, it's gonna be this darker blue, inactive, lighter blue. And then if it's disabled, let's just make a really, bright but then dark and again th this isn't really sort of going into the design of color palettes or anything of like that nature I'm just trying to show you how these things can be modified um, just to to easily give you more options uh, now one of the things you'll notice is there's several things that change whenever you change button that's because there's multiple parts of the UI that actually um, are operating as if they are a well, not as if they're a button, but they're using that button color to define what they are. So like this highlight is the same highlight as this highlight, and, and so on and so forth. Um, all those things can be individually tweaked, and you can change a lot of this stuff, and there's other ways th through some of the palettes or through some of the builds, um, or through CSS, which I'll talk about later, um, where you can change a, a lot of these different things. Um, but this is just one of those topics that I, I found interesting just sort of messing around with how Q palette works and um, just sort of the the control over your environment that you have that isn't always that apparent when you're first messing around um, but yeah that's uh that's it for Q palette for right now